Welcome back, Team Fever. Back again with another video, and I'm back with another Watch Wrestling with Me video. I love making these videos, so I'm just so excited to watch this. First of all, I've never heard of this first wrestler, uh, Darren Corbin. Sounds like I like Baron Corbin, but um, versus Orange Cassidy, and that's really the reason why I'm reacting to this match is because of Orange Cassidy. I hear that he's really hot right now. He's really popular. He's like blowing up. But uh, I mean, I watch AEW, so like I've seen him a few times at AEW, and every time I see him, he got on glasses and his hands in his pockets. So I mean, I think like it's his gimmick, like he always wrestled with his hands in his pocket. Cause I saw like a match where he had his hands in his pocket. It was like a battle royal. Y'all know the battle royal. So I do what I'm talking about from AEW. And he did a dive with his hands in his pockets. Like, that's scary. That's, I don't know. But then he got eliminated real quick. He only was inside the match for like 60 seconds. So, I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm really reacting to this because of Orange Cassidy. Uh, so my friend told me that I should react to him because he's blowing up. But I already knew he was blowing up. But Dar Darren Corbin versus Orange Cassidy. Let's get it. First wrestling or F1 wrestling. Do he like wrestle with his hands in his pockets? There we go. The fight is on. This looks like a nice little indie show. Clearly, Orange Cassidy is psyched. Terry Bronco, Bell Keeper. I saw him doing that. Inside that battle world. Oh, check it out. Right to the knee. That was like the damn. Never seen a match from him though, so I mean he was in the battle royal. What I do know, he seems to have the greatest amount of success in professional wrestling with possibly the least amount avoids that big clothesline attempt. Yes. He looked like a greaser from that one movie. Or book, that one book. Unfortunately, he missed the match. I was couldn't wait to hear his feedback on the style. <laughs> oh my god! Look at he took that snapper right back to his feet. But you know what's most impressive about that, Dave? This is the amount of effort. It, it's not even the hands in the pockets. The sun is simple. Yes. Just saying, come Take on. your hands out of your fucking pockets. <laughs> well done. He's just trying to chill, man. <laughs> so I'm assuming he wrestled with There's no way he wrestled with him Probably the whole time It's a 10 minute match Or a 10 minute video Big side headlock here Shoots him off Ish Oh unable to take him off his feet with a shoulder tackle Oh my god Staying on his feet I gotta admit, y'all, I really don't like this type of wrestling. I like my wrestling to be as realistic as possible. What in the world? This is ridiculous. Y'all ask me to react to this? Somewhere the honky tonk man is telling him to slow it down, kiddo. Help. Grabbing the waist lock. Oh, Orange Cassidy finding his way out. Waist lock, he's got it. What is going on? A little, a little pocket. Escape. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was funny. <laughs> it may come off as nonchalant, but Dave, that was brilliant. Yes, absolutely. That's one. He's the independent wrestling TV champion. Big chop across the chest. 
Brings him down to two knees. Please don't tap us. Please don't tap us. Oh, the top out? No! Will he tap? Is this the end? Is Orange Cassidy going to tap out? Will he make Derek Corbin a dual champion? Oh, he's inching his way toward the ropes now. And the crowd champion needs to run out. Why you gotta, why you gotta be that way? I thought he actually, this was an actual match though. I didn't know it was like this. Show this stay on his face. He sell them. Jim Cornette's rolling over in his grave right now. Take Jim Cornette. Jim Cornette not dead. I mean, I don't think. I hope he not. Darren Corbin may not be liked. May not be loved, but still the champion, possibly a dual championship on its way. Yeah, Jim Cornette would hate this. Jim Cornette would be going crazy. And JR. Shoot, Vince would be going crazy. I think that's just because he kept losing, though. So does Darren Corbin also get the bag? Good question. Keeping control of the fingers. And now Corbin just getting downright nasty. And stomping on the fingers as well. Corbin, a staple of the upper Midwest independent scene, former tag team champion here. And for almost a full year, has held. I wonder did this guy like? Did he even think about his wrestling name, like Darren Corbin? Really? The fans, we're hearing a lot of chatter here from the fans right here with us in the VFW Hall. We want to hear your chatter too. Let the world know that you're enjoying first on fight for hashtag F1RST. Well, I guess he could have been. Ooh. I guess he could have been a wrestler before Baron, though. Because Baron is. <laughs> the brand is recently new. Her ring freshen here on our social media feed here at the commentary booth. And right now, Darren Corbin just outright. <laughs> he could Corbin barely get it. Are we still allowed to call a Darren Corbin a ginger? Is that a thing? Uh, like I said, there was a lot of orange in the ring, and I was just talking about the ring announcer's jacket. <laughs> this is not where Orange Cassidy wants to be. Oh! He waited right for that perfect moment to fire away with that punch. And here he comes. He really dove like that? Uh-uh. I wouldn't want... That is too tight to be diving. I would know to be in that crowd. But well, I have went to an Evolve show. But I feel like it'd be more room than that. That's a small space to be diving. Yeah, Cedric Alexander would never be able to dive at this show. What's he looking for here? Got 
Or Ricochet. Well, Ricochet definitely wouldn't be able to. Well, Cedric, Cedric, and Rick, Cedric and Ricochet are like the top divers in WWE to me. Ooh. Got him. Good super kick by Orange Cassidy. Uh, brain Buster. One, two. I thought that was it. Brain Buster. <laughs> Orange juice? I didn't know his name like was a pun. I thought that was just his name. He's got that OJ in the corner. So he's definitely a comedy wrestler. Ugh. How was that not a DQ? <laughs> Ginger snap. That's it? That he lost it. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. I don't know this group or this company, this indie company, but I disagree. I don't think that guy should have lost his title inside that type of match. I, I don't really like that type of wrestling. Like comedy, well, comedy wrestling I'm okay with, but like unrealistic wrestling. Like wrestling with your hands in your pockets. But, uh, that's just, it was fine. It was fine. I mean, it was fine. Nothing. I don't really have nothing bad. I just, it's just not my taste. I don't really like unrealistic. Like, I'm not a fan of Joey Ryan at all. At all. Hot take. And, um, yeah. So, yeah. It was fine. It was fine. Like, uh, Orange Cassidy, I can take him in doses. Like, from what I saw in AEW, that's all right. I like that. I like that. But for a match like this, 11 minutes, like, whoo. No, it, it was fine though. I'm not saying I didn't like it, but it's not my type. <laughs> but be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video on all forms of social media, click the video that just appeared over my shoulders to check out more content from me. Until next time, y'all. Catch you later.